But I, uh, I want to talk about the legislative session a little bit. Who, uh, who was here, or who remembers the, our recent legislative session that we just went through? I know you've all been trying to forget, but you probably remember a few, few things. I call it, uh, I like to say it's the, t the tale of two cities, or, or fantasy land, that, uh, that, we, that we went through. Uh, first of all, you know, we heard uh, that uh, the economy is our number one priority. And how many of you remember any bills that dealt with the economy up at our legislature this year? Anybody? No, what, what, do you, what do you remember some of the bills that we heard about? Uh, uh, a bill that would allow monkeys in our homes? Uh, a bill that said we, would, we didn't need car seats for our children? And a bill that said we're going to condemn our fe federal lands? And those were seem to be the priorities for our state legislature this year. Uh, the truth is, uh, you know, we're in tough times. Our economy, we have the highest unemployment rate we've had in 25 years in this state. We see our friends and family members losing their jobs. A good friend of mine uh, lost his job about a year ago, and he just found a new job. But it wasn't here in Utah, it was in California. Uh, he's got a family here. He has to sell his house here now, uh, uproot his three young children who are going to school here in Utah, and now he has to move to California. I don't think we want to see that for any of our friends. So that's the truth of what's going on in our state. And there's ways we can uh, solve those problems for our economy and as governor. I will make sure that we focus on our economy, focus on our local businesses first and foremost. Most of our economy is driven by our, our local business businesses here in the state, and that's where we should put our attention. And we should focus on those core businesses that we do well here in the state, like technology or energy or tourism, agriculture. And I think it's important that we, that we make sure that we uh, put our energies towards those uh, strong businesses. I think we need a strong education system as well. I have three young children. I want them to have the best education so they can stay here and get a good job in this state. So fantasy number two uh, has to do with education. Uh, there were no cuts in our education budget this year. I, and I, I've been uh, with our, our governor over and over again at recent events, um, how we've been saying over and over again how we kept, it, it kept our education budget whole. The truth is that our education budget was cut this year, not only for K-12, but for higher education as well. In K-12, uh, we had budget cuts, yet we have 11,000 new students uh, who are coming into our uh, K-12 education this, this, this system this year. And we have, our, again, the lowest per pupil funding. By 20%, we're the lowest to the next state. Uh, and we also uh, have seen our graduation rates falling in the state of Utah. So as much as our state leaders say our number one priority is education, if that's the number one priority, I'd hate to see numbers two and three. Also, uh, we've heard that uh, quality of life is important for all of us here in the state of Utah. And the one thing I've uh, seen over and over again is that people aren't focusing on our quality of life, whether it's our air quality, or water quality. Uh, we have the worst air quality in the nation uh, along the Wasatch Front uh, in the winter time. And I think it's critical that we focus on that. It's also critical that we don't make Utah a dumping ground for the rest of the, the nation's uh, garbage, whether it's nuclear waste or any other kind of waste. We need to focus on our water quality here as well as, as we grow. Uh, I've seen on a committee dealing with some wa water issues in the West Desert. Uh, we have the Snake Valley Aquifer, where our state now is negotiating to give away 85% of the remaining water in that Snake Valley Aquifer. That will not only hurt uh, the West Desert, but when that dries up, the, air, the wind will blow that dust uh, back to our valleys and create, again, the worst air quality in the nation. So there's a lot of great things that we can do in the state. We have uh, a, a great state. Uh, we have wonderful people, pioneering spirit. Uh, we, we have uh, the ability to make this state a great state and move the state into the future. And that's why I'm, I'm running for governor. I'm also running for governor to bring balance uh, to the state of Utah. 
to have an independent voice for the citizens who can stand up when our legislature is doing the wrong thing and say this is not what our citizens want. Where we can get ethics reform, we can get independent redistricting so our citizens can choose their elected officials rather than their elected officials choosing who they want to vote for them to keep them in office. I love this great state. I have three young children. They're seven, eight, and nine years of age. I've got a wonderful wife uh, who's, uh, we have our anniversary tomorrow. Uh, so uh, look forward to that. Uh, we'll stay at home instead of going out since I spend most of my nights going out. But I want, uh, I want to make sure we continue to have a beautiful state, a state where uh, my children, uh, other people's children, people's grandchildren can grow up and get a good education here and stay here and get a good job here and live in a state that is a beautiful state with great air quality, great water quality, and a place that we all want to live in. So thank you very much for having me tonight.